Welcome. So we're going to answer this multiple choice question before us. It says a quadratic function has this rule right here and f of one is equal to f of negative three, which is equal to six. And we need to find the value of b. Now, again, you should immediately recognize that this is a tricky question and you don't want to be spending any more than say two minutes on it. If you're spending in excess of two to three minutes on a question and you're finding that you're not being very fruitful, you need to guess put an asterisk, come back to it at the end. You don't want to burn time uh, doing something that you're not going to get the answer to. Now, a quadratic function has this rule, f of one is equal to f of negative three is equal to six. And we need to find the value of b here. A lot of moving parts. We need to recognize a few things first. And that is that we've been given two points. We've been given one six and negative three six. We have two knowns yet we have three unknowns. That means we can't use solving a system of uh, equations on our CAS because we have three unknowns, but only two knowns. It's not going to work. Okay, what's the next thing that we're going to do therefore uh, to get our answer? Well, let's think about what B is telling us and let's think about the form that we have it in here. This is the turning point form. What the B here is telling me, if we think about this for a moment, if we just draw ourselves some axes like this, the B is telling me, if I was to draw my graph, so let's just draw a graph like this, you don't have to draw this. The B is telling me the halfway point, it's telling me the axis of symmetry. That's what the B is telling me. In other words, it's telling me how much it's moving to the left or to the right. Now that's going to be very important because now we can use that piece of information uh, to help us get our answer. So let's rub this out and I would approach this graphically. I would put in the points that they've given us. They've told us that I have one six. So there's one, there's six, there it is. And I have negative three six, negative three six is up there. These are the two points that I've been given. That means what my graph is going to look like is potentially this, now that's very rough, but we do not have to be that neat here. Or it could also look like this. That's what it could look like, either of the two. Now, what do these two things have in common? As you can see, irrespective of which one it is, they have the same B value because they are both moving to the left by the same amount. Now to find what this is going to be, we simply need to take these two points because they are on the same horizontal level uh, or vertical level rather, we can just add them together, divide them by two, and that will tell us the midpoint of this. So I'm going to go negative three plus one divided by two is equal to negative two on two is equal to negative one. That means this point right here is negative one. Now people at this stage would be very tempted to say, well, E is my answer but they would be wrong because remember, you need to think what B would be in this scenario. And remember, if you put in plus one here, that means you're shifting one to the left. So that means your answer is actually A, B is equal to one because that's shifting it to the left. So as you can see, you've got a lot of moving parts there. Uh, it is quite a tricky question. Uh, you don't wanna be spending too much time on it. If you're going through it and you're finding, oh, I'm having success and it's taking me a bit longer than two minutes, that's fine. But if you're finding that you're just burning time on a question, that's when you've got to start thinking, have a guess, come back to it later. All right, hopefully you found this helpful.